What's going on tech tubers? This is David back with another random tech tip video. In this video, I'm going to provide an in-depth guide on how to fix your current mic setup from sounding like this. I'm gonna land on the top of the store. and make it sound more like this. I'm gonna drop on this first little store in the back. The first thing you're going to need to do is to download a couple of free programs called Voice Meter Banana and Virtual Audio Cable, both of which I will link in the description below. These programs are donationware, so if you enjoy it, you should really consider donating to support the developers because honestly, this software is a game changer. Once you've got those downloaded and installed, you'll need to restart your computer, so make sure to bookmark this video so you can pick up right where you left off. Your first step is going to be to open up your sound options by right clicking your speaker icon and clicking recording devices. Next, you should see a device labeled VB Audio Voice Meter VAIO. Select it and hit set default. Next, open up Voice Meter Banana from whatever location you have it saved to. You'll see a lot of buttons and inputs, but the majority of them don't matter right now since we're just looking to set up our recording device, so you can ignore them. I will explain some of the other options in my next video where I talk about setting up your speakers or headsets to work with voice meter, as well as Razer Surround. To get your microphone set up, click Select Input Device under Hardware Input 1. You might have a couple options that look similar, but the lowest latency, go ahead and choose the WDM device. So for me, that would be my blue snowball. But this technique also works for your headset mic as well if you want to limit the background pickup in that also. Once you've selected your device, you should be able to see the audio meter raise and lower whenever you talk into it. Play around with the gate setting and set your sensitivity to whatever you need to in order to match your environment. Make sure you're clicking keyboard keys and mouse clicks about as you would normally play a game to make sure that your mic isn't picking those up also. I set my IntelliPan settings to low with no echo since that sounds better to me, but there are a few other options that you can play around with to make it suit your needs. I keep the treble, mids, and bass all set to zero, but those are some other customizers that you can mess around with if you want. Once you've got your mic sounding how you want it to, the final step is to send that recording device to the virtual audio mixer so that games and other programs can hear it and use it. In Voice Meter Banana, all you simply need to do is make sure the B1 button is highlighted, as B1 is your current default recording device. If you want to keep these settings without having to rerun Voice Meter anytime you restart your computer, select the menu option on Voice Meter and make sure that the system tray run at startup option is selected. Some games may require you to select an audio device rather than default to your current computer default. If that's the case, simply navigate the game's audio device to your VB Audio VAIO selection and you should be good to go. Well, that's going to be it for this video, TechTubers. If you found this helpful, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, thumbs down if you didn't. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notifications when a new video is uploaded. If you're interested in setting up your speakers or headphones through Voice Meter Banana, keep an eye out for my next video. Additionally, I'll be covering how to turn your old regular stereo headsets into 7.1 surround sound headsets for completely free. Until next time, I'll tech you later.